Hi guys and welcome to the Smart Investor channel. On this video, we are going to compare Capital One and Bank of America side by side. We will review the different savings products each banking account offers, compare consumer credit options such as home loans, credit cards, and other loans, and lastly, understand which banks offer better customer service and digital experience. Let's start. As you would expect from a large banking institution, Bank of America has an impressive product line. There are different checking and savings accounts, multiple credit card options, auto loans, home loans, and investments. This makes it quite simple to switch from your existing bank. Capital One started out as a credit company, but it has expanded its product line in recent years. Now, in addition to an impressive selection of credit cards, you can access checking and savings accounts, auto finance, refinancing, and kids accounts. In terms of savings options, the Capital One Savings Account certainly has the edge over Bank of America when it comes to savings rates. While Bank of America offers up to 0.04%, depending on your preferred reward status and balance, you can earn 0.40% with Capital One with no minimum balance requirements at all. Additionally, while the Capital One account is free of monthly charges, the Bank of America account carries an $8 fee. Although it is possible to have this fee waived, by linking the account to your checking account or maintaining a minimum balance of $500. This is simply not something you need to worry about with Capital One. However, there is a possible drawback, as the Capital One account only permits a maximum of six withdrawals each month. So, if you plan to move your money around frequently, this may not be the right account for you. The CD comparison is far more straightforward, and Capital One does have a clear edge. While Bank of America has a $1,000 minimum deposit, there is no minimum with Capital One. Additionally, Bank of America's rates are far lower. The rates are capped at 0.03%, regardless of what term CD you want. However, Capital One has set its rate to incentivize taking on a longer term CD. But even for the one-year CD, which has the lowest Capital One rate, you'll get almost seven times more interest. At first glance, the Capital One checking account appears to have the edge over the Bank of America option. Firstly, the Capital One account is interest-bearing, so you can earn 0.10% on your balance and there are no account fees. The Bank of America account does not offer interest and there is a $12 per month fee that requires you to maintain an account balance or have qualifying deposits to waive. However, the Bank of America account does have some nice features, like the Capital One account you can choose your overdraft options, but Bank of America also offers smart money management. This provides tools such as custom alerts, savings goals, and customized rewards. If you're looking to buy a home in the next years to come, you may need to take out a mortgage. Bank of America has a great selection of mortgage products. You can access arms, fixed rates, and home equity lines of credit. Bank of America also offers FHA and VA loans. Preferred Rewards members may qualify for discounts on mortgage origination fees of up to $600. The bank website also has some nice tools and calculators, so you can estimate your home loan costs. Unfortunately, this is one area where the Capital One line is lacking options, as this bank does not currently have any mortgage products. When it comes to credit cards, both banks offer great options. Bank of America has an excellent variety of credit cards. If you're looking for simplicity, the Unlimited Rewards card provides 1.5% cash back on all of your purchases without needing to think about spending categories. However, Customized Rewards allow you to set your own cash back tiers. If you want to transfer a balance, there is the Bank of America card, which has 0% APR for the first 18 months, or travelers may enjoy the travel card that offers miles. The Bank of America credit card selection also includes student cards, partnership cards with brands such as Amtrak, Alaska Airlines, and Free Spirit. There is even a secured card if you want to earn rewards as you build your credit. With its credit card history, it is no surprise that Capital One has an impressive array of card options. If you have fair credit, you can still earn great rewards. The Quicksilver One Rewards card offers unlimited 1.5% cash back. There is also the Platinum Secured card that can help you to rebuild your credit. With a security deposit of $49, you could have a credit limit of up to $200. Capital One will consider increasing your credit limit 
after six months of responsible activity. The Walmart credit card offers 5% cash back at walmart.com and the Walmart app. This includes both online orders and products picked up at local stores. In addition, the card earns cash back at Walmart stores, restaurants, travel, and gas stations. This can only happen at Walmart or Murphy USA gas stations. The great thing about Capital One is that the site allows you to browse all the card options. You can select your credit rating or preferred category to find the card that best suits your needs. One of the biggest changes in recent years is the shifting to online. Many banking services are online only and those who are not put many efforts to provide great customer support and digital experience for customers, most of them available around the clock. Bank of America has a large customer service department, but you can only access live support 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. during the week and 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. on the weekend. However, you can also access the customer service team on the bank's website or via its social media channels on Facebook or Twitter. Capital One has designated phone lines for specific issues. This makes it a little more complicated, as you need to find the appropriate phone number, but it does eliminate the need to be put on hold while the agent transfers you to the relevant department. You can find all the phone numbers on the Capital One website. The support page has clickable links to access the relevant phone number and when the lines are open. Generally speaking, while banks may advertise great customer service, this is rarely reflected in its consumer review ratings. However, both Bank of America and Capital One are exceptions to this. Bank of America has a more impressive 3.5 out of 5, and Capital One has an even better 3.6 out of 5 score. As we touched on above, both banks have a great website that allows you to browse the products to find one that suits your needs. There are also help sections to help you to navigate a potentially confusing minefield of financial products. This creates a solid online experience, particularly if you are unsure which product would work best for you. The banks also have an app that facilitates managing your accounts on the move. Bank of America's app is rated 4.8 out of 5 on the Apple Store and 4.6 out of 5 on Google Play, while the Capital One app is rated 4.8 out of 5 and 4.9 out of 5 on Apple and Google, respectively. Overall, to sum up, we'll need to look at which bank is better depending on what you're looking for. Both banks have a decent selection of banking products, but there are some gaps in each lineup. If you're looking for the best returns, Capital One does have the edge in terms of CD and savings rates. Additionally, both banks have a decent selection of credit card options. In terms of loans, neither bank has a conventional personal loan, but there are other types of loans on offer. Bank of America can be a better choice than Capital One if you are happy to meet the requirements to waive maintenance fees, you need multiple finance products, you're looking for mortgage products. On the other hand, opening a bank account on Capital One can be a better choice than Bank of America if you want multiple credit card options to find the best card for your preferences and spending habits, you want to earn better rates on your savings and CDs, you want to earn interest on your checking account balance. For those who are still not sure, here are a couple of questions that may help you to get the right decision. How's Bank of America physical coverage? As a large U.S. bank, Bank of America does have impressive coverage. The bank currently has over 4,300 branches across the country and an ATM network with more than 17,000 machines, making it easy to access the products and services almost anywhere across the USA. What is required to open a Bank of America account? Whether you open your Bank of America account in branch or online, you will need to provide some personal information and verify your identity. This will include providing your social security number, current mailing address, email address, and phone number. If you already have an existing Bank of America account, you will also need to provide the account number. The acceptable forms of ID include state-issued photo ID, driver's license, U.S. passport, military photo ID, or Bank of America photo debit or credit card. What Capital One products are inflation-proof? Capital One does not tend to have a lot of products that are inflation-proof. While the savings accounts do have a fixed rate, this would not benefit you if the rate of inflation increases, as your savings balance would be worth less 
in real terms. However, Capital One does have fixed rate auto loans, which could benefit you if the inflation rates increase throughout the duration of your loan term. You can purchase a vehicle or refinance your existing vehicle loan with a fixed rate for up to six years. This means that you can set your monthly payment and it will remain the same for the entire loan period. Can I open a Capital One checking account online? Yes. In fact, the Capital One 360 checking account is an online account, which requires online access. Capital One states that you can open most of its accounts online, and generally, the process takes less than five minutes. If you already have a Capital One account login, the process will be even quicker. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. On our website, you'll be able to read many more comparisons, reviews, and guides that can help you choose your bank wisely. What is your favorite bank? We would love to know your thoughts, so feel free to share them on the comments below. I hope you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get the best financial comparison as soon as they go live.